Hold your face up. Don't be so sad. Hold your face up. You know what I'm saying? Get up. Get out. Get your hustle on. We hustle daily. What's going on, Hustle Nation? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Big Play Ray, coming to y'all with another Copart walk around. Special thanks to Copart, man. We about to get right into it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Follow me on all social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, and a link in the description below. Make sure y'all go to whdacademy.com. Y'all interested in learning how to buy and sell these cars, how to properly inspect these cars, the whole nine, man. I'm going to show y'all how to do it. whdacademy.com. Showing y'all everything your boy know, man. So in today's video, um, we're going to see if we can win this car, y'all. Uh, I'm not sure if y'all remember this from the last video, but we're going to see if we can win this car. Well, hopefully this is video because, you know, I don't know how long it's going to take to come up. But boom, here it is. We got the 2000, I think it's a 2000 model Buick um, Sabre. Now, I'm not crazy about the Sabre. It got 200,000 miles on it. I know y'all showed y'all in the last video. So we're not going to, like, you know, go, you know, too far deep crazy into this car right now. But I just want to show y'all the car um, real quick. 208,000 miles to be exact. Super clean. It was super clean, smelled good. You know what I'm saying? The only thing I'm really worried about for this car is the transmission. Is that a bug? No, that's a leaf. I thought that was one of them little green things. But yeah, as you can see, this thing is clean, man. Um, the only thing I'm worried about, like I say, I think they changed the seat. This got to be uh, upholstered, re repolstered, upholstered, whatever. Because you can see, like, that got wrinkles in it, but this don't. That's crazy. And then this right here, that's the regular seat. But we're going to see if we can win this thing, man. We're going to waste no time. 200,000 miles, 208. Y'all can see how clean it looked. But I'm just, you know, just it depends on if that transmission is going to shift when you get it out of here. You know what I mean? And you just really never know if you can't drive at these auctions. You feel me? So we're going to see if we can win that at the end before the end of the uh, video. But for this video, we got a couple little cars to check out. We got this one right here, which is a, let me tell y'all right here. It is a 1999 Buick LeSabre. Damn, another one. This one got 103 on the miles though, way lower miles, but just a older version of that one just there that we just seen the blue one. This one looks decent on the outside. Doesn't look too bad, missing the hub cap. That's not bad. Oh, going over there, through there like that. Wow. Yep, just missing one hub cap. Got some little a trim piece missing right here in the front. Nothing too serious, y'all. Nothing too serious. Y'all know I don't care about that. Y'all know my favorite thing is JB Weld. I put some JB Weld on that side right there and I stick it right back on there like that. That's what I do. Okay, so. All right, all right, all right, all right. Looks good. Tires looks good. Interior looks good. Doesn't have that leather like the other car. Does it smell? Smell check. <laughs> Smells all right. It's all right. Look like we got some power, which is great. Boom. Interior. Interior seats. But like they were smoking. <laughs> What's all this shit on the steering wheel? Let's see, guys. Hesitated a little bit, but it did crank up. I got the lights up there. I don't s oh, Okay. I got that tape doing right there. It don't sound bad. It does sound like it's hesitating just a little bit. Y'all want this scanner? Make sure y'all look in the link in the description. This is a 90 what? Yeah, that one. 98. Yeah. All right, let's pop that hood. Did I pop that already? Pop that hood. Do the windows work? Boom. They work. All right, so we're going to be seeing if we can win that Buick today, like I say. Um, I ain't going to lie. I kind of like the other one better than this one. cut it this one ain't gonna cut it unfortunately you know so everybody listen everybody's different everybody different i'm more of a i was talking to somebody about that the other day i'm more like a it's just like my personality i'm more like a play it safe type of person if that makes any sense 
And that's not just with cars. It's like, I'm just like that. In, like, I'm just. What the hell is this? Leaking down there. No, it ain't leaking. It actually doesn't look that bad. Same motor as that other one, too. But, man, I'm just not uh, really fond on. Damn, cooling look good. Man. You know, hey, gotta take chances, you know, but when it comes to these cars, man, I don't know, I guess I just didn't see so much, you know, in my other businesses, I take a little more, a little chances and stuff, but with cars, man, I'd be nervous. I'd be nervous, man. Ain't nothing like getting a car and driving that shit out the damn line. That shit messed up, bro. Then you gotta put hella money in it. I'm straight on that. Then it costs you more money. You know what I'm saying? So, I like it though, but I like the other one better. But this one's straight though. But, you know, gas in the nothing. Y'all only got 100,000 miles though. What y'all think? Y'all think? Oh, y'all heard that? I don't know. I had a no nose. Hold on. You just can't tell on these rocks, bro. But 100,000 miles is definitely good. Let me back this thing up, y'all. Right. I don't know, man. Let me see if it'll crank up like that again. It sound good, I'm not gonna lie. I just, just a risk, bruh. Y'all know I love buying stuff like this, little cheap stuff, I know they not gonna want this shit. Hopefully they don't want that blue one. We'll see though. But this one, I don't know. I'm. Let me chill with this one for a second, y'all. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just see, even though Nah, maybe I should go with my first mind. I always say that, man. Go with your first mind. Let me think about it. I'll be back with y'all in a second. Hold your face up. Don't be so sad. Hold your face up. You know what I'm saying? Get up. Get out. Get your hustle on. What's up, Hustle Nation? This video has been sponsored to you by WHDAcademy.com, the online course that's going to teach you everything you need to know about the auction game, all my tips on how to properly inspect cars, and most importantly, how to make money. As you can see, I've been doing this for a while. And as you can also see, I have plenty of testimonials on how I've helped others gain success in this business. So if you're interested in learning, be sure to click the link in the description below. All right, coming on over here to a 1994 Toyota Camry. As far as the um, Buick, I don't know. I read the play it safe and sorry, y'all. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. I ain't crazy about it. I ain't gonna mess with it. Damn. 214000 on this one. It is pretty clean, though. As far as the interior. As far as the interior. Oh! I forgot all about the Maxima. I gotta show y'all the Maxima again. The Maxima that I ain't crazy about the Maxima. We'll see what it go for. I gotta show y'all that Maxima again. So we got the Buick today and we got that Maxima. That 2011 model. I'm gonna show it to y'all in one second. I forgot all of them about the Maxima. That's how you know I ain't really crazy about it. I want the Buick more than the Maxima. All right. So let's go over here. I'm gonna show y'all this Maxima. Damn, they got an S2000 right here. They got the S2000. Pretty rare cars, you don't see these a lot. These hold they value. I don't really like these like that. They, they really small. A little remind me of a Miata or something. Exactly what they remind me of. But alright, let me I just forgot about the uh um the maxima. I ain't crazy about the maxima because CVT transmission and it had a check engine like hold. Like if I'm mess with one of them, I don't think I need to. Buy no damn check engine light code or nothing on them. Y'all know the Maximus, man. I ain't really fan of the Maximus. I buy a Nissan before I buy not a Nissan. I buy I'm tripping. I buy Infinity before I buy a Maxima, even though they the same car. 
but like I'd rather buy like a G35 or something like that. Something that don't got the CVT trans, you know what I'm saying? But let me walk up here, show y'all this um uh Maxima real quick. Alright, there's my Maxima. Well not yet, but I don't know yet. I don't know if I want it, y'all. I don't know if I want it. Showed y'all the other day. Just had to come back over here. Like I said, I ain't crazy about it because I forgot all about it. 2011 maximum 198 on the miles. I'm gonna run through this one real quick because like I say, I've already been in it, checked it out and everything. I'm just not really crazy about it. Y'all know CVT, man. It's clean though. It does look decent. It is a little clean, right? Right? It is 198 on the miles. Sunroof, right? Right, 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 right. A little dirt, y'all remember the little nasty little crease? They could have vacuumed that up. They'd never vacuumed that, huh? Um, but yeah, man, I'm not super crazy about it. Just wanted to show y'all it real quick. 198 on the miles, got a check engine light. It's just, I ain't crazy about it, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all think it's a go or no? I'm just not crazy about these cars, you feel me? Like, but yeah, so we're gonna see if we're gonna win that one today and all of that, man. Yeah. I think I guess. I might have thought about something else. So that car, that car. Then we got the other two cars coming up at IA. There's a fusion. Fusion. It was another car too. No, nah, just a fusion. Just a fusion. Just a fusion. Yeah. So we yeah, we're gonna see if we can win this win something today, man. I ain't crazy about all these cars today, but we're gonna see if we can win something today. Y'all know we gotta make a pit stop. Show y'all y'all favorite car in the world. The challengers. Let's see how bad he raked this one. I think he raked this one pretty bad. Let me know in the comments below. Dang, look at the side of it. Dang. RT, 392. What the hell, bro? What the heck happened here? Damn, there's a lot of mosquitoes flying around in my... Hey, don't mind if I do. Sounds real subtle. Got the vents in the hood. Yep, 392 powered. Eight. Uh, cooling and everything. This motor's still good. It's just the back. You see it got hit in the back. You know what I'm saying? It's our favorite car in the world, though. Just had to show y'all that. Let's keep looking at what I want to look at. All right, y'all. So, my boy, Bruce, fan of mobiles. Make sure y'all follow him on YouTube. He just won a, um, us till y'all next video. But as far as me, I actually got to get up out of here. Um, so I'm gonna let y'all know probably next video if I won the Buick or the uh, Nissan or not. But last car of the day right here, we got the Jeep. Look like they got some lights in the Jeep. Look like they just done did too much to the Jeep already. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks like they done touched it. Door open, so it probably don't got no freaking power, which would suck. That's just how the door is. No, I closed. But yeah, my boy Bruce did win another car, so we, I'm gonna go with him and pick that up. About to be um, on my way, but I gotta freaking do something real quick, and then I'm gonna go over there, head over there. Unless you wanna do it tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see. 
help him pick that up. Hopefully, uh, I win this car though. Not this, but that damn Buick. I really want that Buick. Got 200,000, but I want it. All right, so no power. And I'm talking about the blue Buick, not the 98 model one. Uh, I ain't really crazy about that one, but the blue one is cool. So we gonna see if we can win that one. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Sorry guys, wrap this one up short, but I actually looked at all the cars I wanted to look at today actually. So just in time, gotta go handle some business. Shout out to the whole Hustle Nation. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all haven't done so already. Make sure y'all go to whdacademy.com, man. I'm gonna show y'all how to properly inspect these cars, man. Don't get a lemon messing around with your, with yourself. You can't trust yourself when it comes to buying these cars. Trust me. I know I already done made all the mistakes. That's why I'm so nervous about making another mistake with this Buick. It's just the shifting. You don't know what it's gonna do when you shift it out. The gear, you know, you shift it. But all right, man. I love y'all. Peace out. It's your boy Ray, big play Ray, man. Peace.